with the sort of shooting that we do, calls and decoys go hand in hand. And to tie them in, let's take the Canada Goose decoys as an example. These offerings from UK Shoot Warehouse, the Silo Sock, which a lot of people will be familiar with, for want of a better description, is almost like a hollow bag. It's got a kind of a two-dimensional head to it, um, which nevertheless works very effectively in the field. But we've now stepped up to this version, which is the same almost bag-like body, but made of a slightly heavier, more robust material, but married to uh, the, the forepart of the goose uh, and a three-dimensional head, which is flock covered and otherwise sits on a similar sort of rotating peg as its predecessor, which gives it lots of movement when it's in the field. Movement, of course, can be the, uh, the key to the successful deployment of a decoy, decoy spread. Uh, and these, with their lightweight, easy deployment and realistic movement, should provide the difference between a successful day and an unsuccessful one. But one of the things that we would marry the decoys up with a, uh, a goose flag. Now it's extremely windy today and I'm sure this is going to make it more difficult to put this together. But let's give it a go. The beauty of this simple little device can provide that eye-catching bit of movement that means a bunch of geese that otherwise might have flown past you. You've got your decoys, you've got your call, you've got a goose flag which imparts just enough movement to catch the corner of their eye. You rack up your short read MPK Canada Goose Call and I'm pretty much certain that you can turn those birds in towards your decoys and bring them into shot. One of the problems that faces wildfowlers all around the coastline of the UK is what happens if you get uh, a blockage in one of your barrels. And as you can see, the right-hand barrel on this gun is obstructed. And if you can imagine that you've, I don't know, perhaps stumbled or been a little bit careless in the half-light, you look up to check your gun and you find that you can't see daylight down the end of the barrel. You know that you've got something stuck up there. So this is the, the, the Mark II uh, idea that I came up with. And it's, as you see, it's a couple of three sections of, uh, of dowel, the appropriate thickness, with a, a homemade leather washer on the end, and I've crudely joined it together with some cable ties. And the purpose of that really is simply that if, if I put the thing in my bag, it stays together in, in kind of one piece, if you like, uh, rather than having it in three separate sections. Feed the first bit in, the second, they will simply push from one to the other and there's enough left at the end to remove practically any obstruction. This one I've just demonstrated on a 30 inch barreled gun but it was actually made for a 26 but you can see that the principle works, the bore is now clean and clear and if I was out on the mud flats and I had experienced a blockage in the barrel we're now ready to, uh, to rock and roll and my incredibly simple 99p barrel clearer goes back in my game bag for use on another occasion.